It's Ruth Lipton's 40th birthday party and as a surprise her husband's getting her there on a fire engine. It's a growing market and this operator in Lincoln says many firms are not taking it seriously. Now that uh, the popularity of fire engine limos has taken off, um, other operators have come onto the scene and don't see the need um, to liaise with uh, fire services or the police and subsequently we're getting the uh, problems that Humberside are now experiencing. And those problems are causing serious concern. Distinguishing between a genuine appliance and a party fire engine can often be difficult. And it's the fire brigade which is receiving calls about inappropriate behaviour. We've got to reply to these complaints. Uh, we've got to deal with these members of the public. We have officers who are obviously uh, an admin staff who are constantly um, chasing up this and investigating this sort of uh, instance. So it is quite time consuming, yet yeah, it is a drain on resources. The law's clear. Only the emergency services can display blue lights, so those on a fire engine should be disconnected or removed. It's illegal for the two-tone sirens to be sounded at all, and licensing rules mean they can only carry eight passengers and shouldn't be overloaded. These photographs show a flouting of the rules by some local operators. They haven't disconnected their blue lights. Wow, where's the fire? This weekend's part is typical of those that book a fire engine and they enjoyed the trip. I wanted to do something different than just a limousine. It's, um, you see them all over the place nowadays. I don't know what the neighbours thought. Well, I was hoping to be rescued by the firemen. <laughs> no, I think it's a novel idea and very good. While the fire service says it doesn't want to spoil anyone's fun, they are urging operators to stay on the right side of the law.